up, Stick TV fan? We got Pro Montana, a up-and-coming artist straight out of Lawrence County, South Carolina. Now, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on this fire content. Okay, now, Lawrence County has some very deep history. It was formed in 1785 and named after the American statesman Henry Lawrence. Before the 1700s, Cherokee Indians inhabited the lands and used it for hunting and fighting grounds. Lawrence County became famous when the 17th president, Andrew Johnson, discovered that Lawrence County had the best tailor-made clothes. After the Civil War in 1865, Lawrence County was known to have race rights and a large portion of the KKK resided there. Fast forward 100 plus years later, in the late 90s, Lawrence County has became a hardy party and sports city. Now today, Lawrence has a population of almost 10,000 and the chances of becoming a victim here is 1 out of 21. Hey, y'all boy need to tap in with my dog and get that fire merch. Yeah, Bon and Geechee, he got those fire jackets that's just dropped. Yeah, he putting on from Charleston. Yeah, and, and those colors go nice with the Nikes. Those colors go nice with the Jordans. He got some of the best jackets out right now. And he putting on for Chelsea. Okay, now, Pro Montana was born in Lawrence City, but he was always back and forth from Lawrence to Clinton City, which both are in Lawrence County. As a young boy, Pro Montana would live the average life most country boys live. The only difference about Pro Montana was that he loved hip-hop and rap music. When everyone known him as JV the Pro Boy around the ages of 10, he would go to this place called Three Stars and he would be the youngest but most confident kid there to perform on open mic and join the dance competitions. After Three Stars, all the local kids would walk in large groups on the country roads and went to another place called Straight Street to have fun and socialize. By middle school, pro Montana parents were split up, causing him to go to Clinton, South Carolina on summer breaks and weekends. This is where pro Montana would learn how to become a strategic fighter because Clinton and Lawrence never got along, especially when it came to sports. By high school, pro Montana would be one of the most popular teams in the region, being that he knew how to throw those hands and he wasn't afraid to put his music out. Even though Pro Montana went to Clinton High School, he would still represent Lawrence City to the fullest. Pro Montana really started feeling himself a whole lot when Soldier Boy came out with Crank That Soldier Boy, and Pro Montana had the best remixes and dances to the beat. Pro Montana would drop music even after high school, but in his early 20s, Pro Montana's big homie by the name of YG would get caught lacking one night and drilled. This is where Pro Montana started taking rap more serious. Before you knew it, his big cousin turned the blicky on himself and took his own life. Pro Montana would never completely heal from that loss. Soon after, his big brother would have to go do some time. But like the saying goes, every three losses is a win. Sooner or later, Pro Montana would be performing at this nightclub called The Peak where he met Casino Rolex and he would introduce Pro Montana to Lil Scrappy. Eventually, Pro Montana would take off with this music, and then he signed to Billionaire Records, owned by Frederica Wright. 